this is the second folio and it was published slightly differently to the first folio in that several publishers had copyright in Shakespeare's plays and they divided the edition between them. This copy is a, a rare issue which is printed by Thomas Coates as all the others are but it's for John Smethick. John Smethick had copyright in only four of the Shakespeare plays but they were rather important ones. He had the copyright in Hamlet and he had the copyright in Romeo and Juliet so he was an important um, copyright holder but the uh, thinking is that the edition was divided up between the various copyright holders and because he only had four plays he actually got a relatively small proportion of the title pages with his name printed on them so it's a rare imprint. It's also um, nice to have it because the second folio was printed twice. The first issue of it was in uh, 1632 and it was later reissued with new title pages in around 1640 although they still say 1632 on the title page but John Smethick's copies were all the original issue in 1632. This copy um, has been rebound uh, sometime around the turn of the century in a very smart red Morocco binding with a fully gilt spine which gives some idea of the value of the book. Um, it would originally have been issued in a plain calf binding, a brown calf binding. Um, what some people uh, dislike about rebound copies is that you uh, can't necessarily immediately see whether it's a genuine copy of the book with every leaf being from the second impression. Um, in this copy we can however tell that. There are watermarks on the pages and we can collate the watermarks and be sure that every leaf in this book was originally the leaf issued with it in the second impression. Some of the unusual things about this copy which are nice are the to the reader leaf which has commendatory verses written by Ben Jonson, Shakespeare's sort of predecessor in this kind of publishing venture. Um, these verses to the reader, this leaf is almost always restored or has some kind of paper restoration to it. This, this leaf, however, is intact and genuine, uh, as is the rest of the book. The only restoration in this copy, paper restoration, is on the last leaf which is the final leaf, which is obviously a leaf that is potentially easily damaged and this has a little paper restoration to the outside margin but um, really not very much. Apart from that it's a very nice copy of the book, rather clean, um, it obviously has a few marks here and there and it was probably washed at the time of the binding but it would have been washed, it's evidently been washed only in water some 19th century binders were tempted to use a little bleach to make the paper whiter, but this has not been done in this case, and the book is still clean and fresh and thick.